Hi y'all, it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I have a couple items from Dollar Tree and then I have project shares for you. Um, Dollar Tree, I just bought some of these clasp gems in green and some of the marbles in green. I bought those for one of the projects that I made. And this one, this one was a Cricut file. I happen to own the cartridge. I think it is an access file if you have access. I didn't do the best job putting it together. I'm really spoiled by Dreaming Tree and their um, how-to videos. I do have a few of these in here. They're just decorative ones. They're not chocolate or anything. Um, and I'm going to end up putting those on top. I'm going to put the, the, the gems or the marbles in there and then put these in here. I might cut them off to different lengths so they display in there better. But that's one of them. The other ones are all Dreaming Tree files. There's this banner, which I thought turned out cute. Um... This little gift box. It does come off. I'll probably just use it as decoration, but the lid does come off. Or should, unless I put it on before the glue was dry. I could have done it. <laughs> but yeah, it does come off there. And then it's got it comes with a little tag you can put together and, and hang on it. So there's that. And then this this item here. Which, he said to put this on a skewer, but I thought I had the straws, the, plus, the paper straws, so I thought I just glued it onto there and used it. And there's kind of the front. And I'll use those as decor pieces for St. Patrick's Day. And then there was this little gift basket. This one was a freebie file. The other ones were paid, but this one was a freebie file. And then I made this t-shirt that I had on. The t-shirt I actually found at... Dollar Tree, so I paid a dollar for the shirt, and then I just ironed that on. Um, I think it was another Cricut Access thing, but I owned the font and the characters that that image came from, so I um, didn't have to use one of my Access codes for that. And then I made this one as well, and this one I owned. The Happy St. Patrick's Day is a Cricut file, which I owned that image. And then the shamrock was actually one of them from, a, from, I believe, this Dreaming Tree item. It was this shamrock and these two that cut out. And I just used, I just cut them out in iron-on instead of paper and put them on my shirt. But I thought they turned out cute, so that's all I have to share. I didn't, like I said, I didn't do too bad. I was going to, when I was at Joanne... I price the Xyron every week when I'm there because it's on clearance. And when I scanned it, it came up 35 something, which it was March 59.97. So I was going to buy it. When I got up to the register, it rang up for 59.97. I'm like, well, then I'm not going to get it because I know I can get it cheaper than that on Amazon. So I could have probably pushed and got it. I did tell her, I said, the scanner is coming up a cheaper price than that. And something my daughter bought was on clearance and it was coming up cheaper on the scanner as well. So. My daughter said she didn't care. She was happy with the price she got it at, so she wasn't going to push it. And I said, I just won't buy it. It's not that big of a deal to me. I just looked at it as I wasn't meant to buy it today <laughs> and went on. If I really, really, you know, wanted it really, really bad, which I want it, but I can, I can function without it, I probably would have pushed it for the price that it scanned at. But they, I, I think they do have a sign up, though, that, Prices may not be accurate, so they probably wouldn't have to honor it anyways. But anyways, someday I will get one of those. <laughs> anyways, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like, comment, share. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.